Hi, my name is Mark Tapazian. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic, and I'm talking today about an article we recently published about rituximab maintenance therapy for autoimmune pancreatitis. So just by way of background, autoimmune pancreatitis is one manifestation of a disease called immunoglobulin G4 or IgG4 related disease. And this is a disease that can affect almost any organ in the body, but it often manifests as in the pancreas, as what we call autoimmune pancreatitis, or in the bile ducts and liver, where it goes by the name of IgG4-related sclerosing cholangitis, or IgG4-associated cholangiopathy. But so this disease in the pancreas, autoimmune pancreatitis, or in the bile ducts, IgG4 sclerosing cholangitis, is an inflammatory disease that causes swelling and uh, inflammation, sometimes pain, sometimes jaundice, and if untreated, leads to scarring and fibrosis and ultimately loss of function of the affected organ. So it leads to destruction of the pancreas over time. Fortunately, this disease is responsive to treatment, and the mainstay of treatment is a class of medicines called steroids. And they typically work very well for autoimmune pancreatitis or biliary IgG4 disease. Uh, the problem is that uh, the disease often relapses once you stop the steroid treatment. And the steroids themselves have a number of side effects and uh, unintended or... And the steroids themselves have a number of adverse effects over time. In addition, some people are intolerant of the steroids, and occasionally we see someone with these medical problems who just doesn't respond to steroids. So we've been interested at our place in some, for some time in finding other treatments. And one of the treatments that we uh, were among the first to use for this disease is called rituximab. This is an infusion medicine that's given by vein in an infusion center and blocks the uh, activity. Rituximab blocks the action of a certain class of lymphocyte or immune cell in the blood. We found in the past that giving induction infusions of rituximab, now typically two infusions spaced two weeks apart, causes a remission of these diseases, autoimmune pancreatitis or biliary IgG4 disease, even in people who have uh, had a really difficult time with refractory disease or recurrent disease or being unable to get off of steroids. So in our current paper we looked at the question of does relapse occur after rituximab treatment and what about giving rituximab as a maintenance treatment to prevent relapse. So we looked back over our experience over a decade or so and we looked at two groups of, pa of patients, those who were given rituximab induction therapy, two infusions of this medication, and then received no additional treatment over time. The other group was people who got their induction infusion and then at some later points in time, three, six, nine, or twelve months after the induction treatment, got a maintenance infusion of rituximab and then continued to get those intermittently over time. And our question was, what was the relapse rate in these two groups? And we found that those who only got the induction treatment, about half had relapse over three years. And those who got the maintenance therapy as well, only about 10% had relapse over a three-year period of time. So our conclusion is that rituximab maintenance therapy is helpful in preventing relapse of autoimmune pancreatitis or biliary IgG4 disease. There are downsides to everything, including rituximab. As an immune suppressing drug, it may make patients more prone to infections. And in fact, we saw more infections in the group of people who got maintenance therapy. We also looked for predictors of who might especially be at risk for a relapse and benefit from maintenance therapy, and we identified a few of those. Younger people with these diseases, people who had signs of persistent disease activity after their induction therapy, and people who had a high level of a blood test called alkaline phosphatase. So in conclusion, rituximab is an important treatment option for people with autoimmune pancreatitis or IgG4-related bile duct disease, and 
maintenance therapy with rituximab seems to prevent subsequent relapse.